All right, I'm here with a brand new pickup video showing off some stuff I've picked up uh, for you know the second half of September, first off half of October. So we will dive right in here with a couple Goodwill finds. I'll do the uh, Goodwill auction site first. Picked up uh, the Amco Museum 64 complete in box, really nice shape. Uh, this is like eight dollars, I believe, on the Goodwill auction site. Don't like the Goodwill auction site, but uh, found that I thought it was pretty cool and a pretty good price for something like that. Um, I don't remember what I paid for this, but this is a real nice shape. Monopoly complete on Genesis. A uh, real nice shape complete, so I decided, hey, why not pick that up? A few um, cartridge games here. The Saturday Night Slam Masters by Capcom on the Super Nintendo. Um, I think these were these were all two dollars each. These sixty-four games. Wave Race 64, which is cool because mine is player's choice and it was not as nice shape as that. So I'm glad to get that. Hydro Thunder, which believe it or not, it's like a $15 gamer about. Um, I think I've played this before. It's actually kind of fun. I think there's an, I think I've played the arcade version of it and I think it's pretty fun. So I'm sure the 64 version's all right. NFL Blitz 2001. I'm going for a complete set of the 64 stuff. So if I can find stuff for like two bucks or less, I always pick it up. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Maybe a shame it wasn't uh, Donkey Kong 64, but I already have that, so. Oh, well. Um, a few garage sale finds. I'm going to guess this is going to be like the last garage sale of the year. Just because uh, it's starting to get cold here, so. I'm going to assume. I don't know, that's weird. That just got really uh, out of focus for a second. I'm not sure why. Alright, that's better. Um, excuse this beeping. Everything's going wrong in this video. It got out of focus again. I'm not sure what's up. Uh, let's kill, maybe it's just lighting, I'm not sure. Let's see. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Uh, garage Sale finds some Xbox games. Um, orange Box, these are all, I don't think any of, none of these work actually, because they're all scratched, and I don't think this Orange Box is going to work, because it's scratched and has a crack. Um, but these are all $2 each, which is a shame. Uh, orange Box is a pretty cool package. Uh... But yeah, Orange Box for the 360. That's the only 360 game there is, though. The rest are original Xbox. Simpsons Road Rage, which these are all my dad picked up, and he did not um, notice there was not there was a disc missing. Which usually he's better about checking for that. So, oh well, I'll let it slide. Uh, this is supposed to be actually a pretty fun game, I believe. Is this the one where it's like Crazy Taxi? Um, yeah, it's supposed to be pretty fun. So it's a shame it's not in there. Star Wars Obi Wan again, really scratched up. But the cases are in nice shape. Uh, we plan on getting a disc resurfacer pretty soon, so uh, we have a big stack of stuff to resurface. So hopefully that'll go over well. We can get a, a pretty decent gift, disc resurfacer, and we have a big stack of stuff to resurface. So uh, Odd World Munch's Odyssey and Crash Twin Sanity, all at a garage sale for two bucks. A couple finds from a thrift store. I believe these were both seventy-five cents. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X, which is cool. I have Code Veronica on the Dreamcast. I don't have it on the, the X on PS2. I don't know what makes it different. And then uh, Resident Evil 4, which I, again, I have this on the GameCube. I think 4 has maybe a better frame rate and some... It has extra chapters, so that's cool. Uh, Resident Evil 4 is awesome, so that's good. Uh, that's all for just average pickups, I believe. Um, once again, this is like the slow part of the year. This is the part where new new releases and stuff are kind of dominating. So uh, that's what I'm going into here now. With I'll go start with some Amiibo first. A huge like Best Buy restock on Amiibo, and they're still doing it. I just walked in there today for fun, and uh, there was some Shulks that they had just gotten in because they weren't there. Uh, they had Greninja, a ton of Greninja, Lucario, Middle Mac, Captain Falcon, all the characters a lot of people want. Um, and they're all, they're still regular retail price twelve ninety nine. So if you the you know go to your local Best Buy if you're looking for any of the more rare amiibo because there's a huge restock on all the good one. Uh, I picked up a Marth. I, there was a bunch of Marth at my store. I already have Marth, but I got like an original one from when it first came out and I kept it sealed. So I now I have this one to open and you know mess around with, uh, you know display with the rest of my amiibo. The face, maybe, it doesn't look as stupid as, like, the original, like, one uh, does. It's, uh, it's still not great, but it doesn't look as dumb. And then I got the Retro 3-pack at GameStop, and I really like this 3-pack. There's Game & Watch Amiibo. I have just the regular Smash Brothers trophy pose, but 
you can, uh, as a lot of people know, you can take Game & Watch off the stand. And there's, it comes with three other poses. One with a bell, one with him rolling like a nine, and uh, one with a parachute. Uh, I really like this one too, Rob. This one's super cool. You can't actually see the base on this one like the, the like uh, every. I think all the other ones you can see the gold base, but this one you cannot. And I really like this one. Uh, yeah, the Rob's really cool. I really like this one. And uh, another really cool one, Duck Hunt. I liked the, the inclusion of Duck Hunt was really cool. I don't like playing as Duck Hunt because he's kind of weird, but that was a really cool inclusion to maybe make up for a lack of ice climbers. Um, yeah, I really like the Retro 3 pack. All the I think all the figures are pretty cool. Um, the, the quality of Amiibo is starting to really get pretty good, so I'm really happy with what Amiibo... Because, you know, the first wave I thought was nice, but now looking back, you know, Link is a, not the best quality figure with that like, urine-colored rod holding him up and... Uh, you know, but the, the quality of these Amiibo are getting really nice. Um, moving on for, to some new release games I got. I picked up on the 25th, Happy Home Designer. Only ended up paying like $18 for this. Because if, if anyone doesn't have Best Buy Gamers Club, uh, I buy all my new games at Best Buy now. Because if you have Gamers Club, uh, they're all new games are 20% off. Um, every like every uh, new game you get. So, it, I mean, obviously... It doesn't have to be new release. It could be any new game they have. Not their used games are like ten percent off, but every new game you get twenty percent off. Um, so it, that took down to like thirty-two dollars, and I had ten dollars in gift certificates because I pre-ordered Metal Gear Solid Five, and you know, got it. It got delivered, so I got ten dollars for doing that, and I got five dollars just in spending money there. So I only got this for like eighteen dollars. I also I did buy a uh, amiibo card package, but I don't. Uh, I didn't think to put that in this video uh, and then the one I if anyone's curious the character I got with the amiibo card I got with this one is uh, I got Digby um, I think it comes with one special card you can get with one of the you know more well-known characters and then you can buy the card packs that come with a well-known like a, one of the special cards and then I just a bunch of like average cards uh, but yeah I've been enjoying this um, played it probably about 10 hours I haven't played it in a few days maybe uh, a lot of fun. It's just a, you know, maybe it gets a little repetitive because you're just kind of designing homes and stuff. But I think it's a lot of fun to just kind of sit back. You don't have to do much, mess around. Um, and it's just an easy pick up and play game. I've had a good time with it. Um, another game I've had a good time with just picking up and playing. Persona 4 Dancing All Night. I got this crazy Disco Fever edition. Um, this is I enjoyed this a lot more than I think I would. Uh, it's pretty weeby. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna be like brutally honest. It's pretty weeby. Um, by went in expecting that. Uh, I at first I was like, you know, I kind of wish that they would have gone the route like Theater Rhythm, Final Fantasy, and now Theater Rhythm Dragon Quest went kind of more of like a celebration. Uh, but this just kind of went to be like a one of the. It kind of went to try to be like Persona 4 Arena games, where it's like a visual novel type game that with these like with a rhythm section or like a fighting game to the arena games kind of just thrown in every once in a while and uh the story mode's kind of boring uh nothing too great maybe it's time to put the <laughs> persona 4 cast to rest all these spin-offs like half the original voice actors have been replaced at this point um so i mean we're going <laughs> it's starting we're starting to maybe lose the magic there uh but i still really enjoyed this game i platinumed it in, in like five days <laughs> Uh, so that's my quickest platinum. I platinum this one in like five days. Uh, it was a fun platinum. It wasn't too challenging, but it wasn't too easy. Uh, I had a lot. Of, I had a good time with this. I'll probably pick it back up once all the DLCs come out, um, and you know, buy all that DLC, and you know, play through those songs and play some of my favorite songs on the, that come with the game. Uh, but I haven't played it in a while since like I platinumed it. But I one thing I wish is they would they would have put more Persona Three songs on here. Because there's a lot of good uh, funk songs on Persona 3, which uh, Persona 4 has more kind of pop songs, but I like Persona 3's um, soundtrack too. I wish they would have had like some songs from there on there. Um, and then maybe the biggest purchase uh, I picked up, Lego Dimensions, uh, and uh, I've been enjoying it. I think it's a pretty cool Toys to Life um, game. I you know I couldn't get into Skylanders because I don't. The characters don't do anything for me. It's too much of like I think it's maybe obviously it's too young. It's straight. It, it skews pretty young. Um, 
Disney Infinity, I don't. I think the game looks kind of boring and the figures don't do anything for me. I think they look kind of cheap. That's just my opinion. Uh, and then Amiibo, obviously I picked those up because I love Nintendo. But LEGO Dimensions, I really like a lot of the brands that it has. Um, as you can see, it has all these brands back here. I really like like Ghostbusters, Back to the Future. It's cool that they have like the Simpsons. Um, there's Portal on here, yeah. And then, you know, I don't know much about Doctor Who or anything like that. I know a lot of people like it, though. So, I mean, they really got a lot of cool brands, uh, and they're promising they're going to be getting more and stuff. And uh, I've enjoyed this. Again, I got this. This is $100 for the starter pack, and I got it at Best Buy, so it ended up, ended up being like 80 plus tax. So, can't go wrong with that. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. I'm afraid of how far down this rabbit hole I'm going to get. Um... Cause like I, when I when this was first announced, I was like, yeah, that looks really cool. It's too pricey. I I think it's kind of, and I, it's pretty pricey. I think thirty dollars for the level packs is a little steep. Um, but then I kind of saw how much content they give you. If you buy a character from each like branded, uh, you can like if you buy a Back to the Future character like Marty or Doc or something, you can get the Back to the Future world. And I thought that's pretty neat. You can the level packs. You can get a level. Um, you can get the characters that have their abilities. You know, do I wish that this game was just the game and it didn't have these toys as a paywall? Yes, but um, at the same time, I think, you know, having the, the, the toy pad just kind of sitting up there, well, it takes up some space and it's not wireless, which is a shame. Uh, I still think it's a lot of fun. Um, there's some neat, there, I mean, they're gimmicky gimmicks, but there's some neat gimmicks on the toy pad you can do with the gameplay. Uh, so I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I would recommend it. I think it's a fun game. Uh, if you're into the, Le it's just an average Lego game, but it has all these different, you know, brands and it has a lot of fan service and stuff like that. So I think it's really, I think it's really cool. Um, if you're interested, check it. I would check it out. I think it's really good. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff coming out, different waves. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited for the Ghostbusters stuff to come out because it hasn't come out yet. I got to, I got the, I, let me show that. I got the, where did I put that? I got the Back to the Future pack, and that looks pretty cool. Um, I just got it today, so I haven't had a chance to, you know, mess around with it yet. Uh, but I got the Back to the Future pack. This is what they look like. I already opened it. It comes with this stuff, and it comes with this one. The Back to the Future pack was 30 With my Gamers Club, it was only like 24 I think. Uh, it came with the Hill Valley Adventure level, and then I get access to the Back to the Future open world, which is pretty cool because you can do... Uh, you can go back, You, it's 1985, or you can go back to 1885, or you can go to 2015 uh, Hill Valley. So I think that's really cool. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with LEGO Dimensions. I'm afraid how far down I'm going to get, how much of this stuff I'm going to get. Because I told myself, all right, you can get this, because it has, you know, Ghostbusters, it has Batman, it has Back to the Future, it has a lot of stuff you're into. Just don't, like, <laughs> you can't get the stuff that, like, you don't care about. Like, you're not going to get Ninjago or Chima or... I don't know, this, this stuff you don't really care about, but I don't, who knows, I don't think I, I'm going to promise myself right now, I'm not going to buy Ninjago, I'm not going to buy Chima, I'm not going to, well, I don't, I don't, um, but yeah, that's it, the new games are coming out, I'm looking forward to coming up soon, it's Triforce Heroes, uh, Yokai Watch, that's a little further away, I'll probably have a video before then, hopefully, um, I don't know. Stay tuned, I'll probably be doing an updated room tour, because I did that about a year ago now, didn't I? I'll probably do an updated room tour, because some stuff changed around. Uh, and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.